All right, guys, so we back with another video, man. And I told y'all once it came, I got it right here. The uh, P3, this is the uh, SSD M.2. This is by Crucial, 500 gigabytes. Told y'all once we got it, was going to go ahead and install this into the uh, Mac Mini Hub and test out the speeds and stuff, transfer a couple of files, man. So one of the main reasons why I ended up getting this was because I want to edit from an SSD because typically I edit from this thing. Let me show y'all. So typically I edit from my Seagate. This is just a standard hard drive. You guys know if you've been following the channel for a long time, I've been rocking the standard hard drive spinning disc, uh, and this is where I store all my footage. And honestly, I've been able to actually edit off of that. It doesn't really stutter or do anything like that, but I've been able to edit off of that. But now I kind of want to go ahead uh, and experience editing off of an SSD too. So uh, what I plan on doing is uh, now dumping everything on here. This is just going to be like just a working SSD. I'm not going to store anything on here uh, permanently. All this is going to be is just where I dump the footage and stuff like that. I'm going to edit from this. And when I export the videos, I'm just going to still export everything to my hard drive because that's like my library. That's like the main place where everything's going to be. Uh, and here shortly, I'm going to get another hard drive, a bigger one. Uh, and I'm going to store all of that, take all of that off, you know, drop it on the bigger one and then kind of go from there, man. So I know storing things on hard drives is not really kind of the right thing to do because of the disc spinning and stuff. You can always lose your footage and things like that, man. But to be honest with you, man, I feel like I'm very, very careful with my stuff. You know what I mean? So this hard drive stays right here. It doesn't move. I mean, I was even just scared to pick it up just then, but it literally does not move. It stays right here on this desk and it doesn't move. So I'm going to get a huge uh, hard drive and I'm going to bag up everything from that. But again, this is for editing. I just want to dump everything here and edit off the SSD drive to see if it's even smoother. All right. So Another thing too, I purchased this thing, it was 36 bucks on Amazon and I got the 500 gig, but the one terabyte is 599, the two terabyte is 119 and the four terabyte is 249. Um, and then one thing too, I wanted to show y'all right here on Amazon down here at the bottom is that uh, I got the P3, just the standard P3, but you got a P3 plus and you got a P5 plus. All right? So the P3 and the P3 plus, the difference right here is just the read write speeds down here. So it's, um, the P3 is 35, write, I mean read, and write is 3,000, uh, the P3 Plus is 5,000 for the uh, read, and 4,200 for the write. And it just gives you like a good little example of what you could probably, you know, uh, why you would want to use either or. All right, so anyway, let's open this up, and we're going to put it in the uh, hub, then we'll get the hub all set up, and then we'll jump into some uh, speed tests and some data transfer. Let's do it. All right, so let's unbox and install this, man. Again, this is the Crucial P3 500 gigabyte M.2 SSD. All right, so with the mini Supuru hub on the bottom, you're just gonna have a little magnetic base plate. All you gotta do is remove that little base plate uh, and just line up the SSD, but we'll do that here in a minute. But there's a little small black little push pin screw that you need to remove that's supplied by Mini Supreme. All you gotta do is take that out, man. And inside the box of the Crucial P3, it's just a user manual. You're gonna have one screw and you're gonna have the SSD drive itself. Uh, the SSD drive is very, very thin, very lightweight, uh, very well put together, man. I like the construction and the build quality on it. Um, and as far as installing this, all you're gonna do is uh, line it up cinch it in man and then it's going to look like it's kind of lifted from there you just push it down and either screw put the screw in that came with the uh, crucial or you can use the supply screw that came with the actual hub itself all right again this is what it looks like once you get it all installed looks very very uh, clean very very minimal nothing real nothing to it i mean i feel like you really can't mess it up uh then after that man all you got to do is uh put the base plate back on man and get into a little bit of testing all right so we got the ssd installed guys and again this is the p3 crucial all right by crucial the p3 by crucial 500 gigabyte ssd all right so again it's installed and we are ready to go so one thing i want to let you guys know before i go into this quick speed test and transferring a file or two i want to let you guys know that anytime you install any of these ssds man you have to format it and i forgot to get that portion of the video because i wasn't thinking i ran through the process and then i thought about it afterwards but just know that this is not plug and play. You can't just plug this in and it's going to pop up and you just start, you know, going ham on your uh, on your storage. No, it's not how it works. You got to go into your disk utility and you have to make sure that you format this drive. All right. Make sure you format the correct one. You don't want to format the internal SSD. Make sure you format the correct one uh, and then you can go from there. So real quick right here up on my screen, as you can see, I got my bag up plus because it's plugged in, which is the SSD. Uh, I'm not the SSD, the actual regular hard drive. And then I have the Crucial P3 SSD right here. That's what I labeled it when I uh, ran the uh, disk utility, all right? So real quick, I'm going to go ahead and open up Blackmagic right here. Uh, I'm going to open this up. 
I'm going to leave it at two gigs because some of my files would be between two and four gigs or sometimes a little higher, but I don't, I don't want this video to be too, too long. All right. So we'll go ahead and just test the speeds on the bag up plus, which is just a standard hard drive. It's pretty pointless to do this, but I want to show you guys the speed difference between this hard drive and the SSD drive. All right. So we'll open this up and we'll start the speed test. So we own the right speeds right now. And this is for the hard drive, all right? The spinning disc hard drive, my Seagate hard drive, all right? So to me, it's looking like we capping out at like 60 something. I may not let this finish because it's kind of pointless, uh, but at the same time, I want to show you. So we capping out somewhere here in the 60s, as you can see, uh, we'll go ahead and let it finish, man. Why not? Uh, let's give that drive a little courtesy because, uh, you know, put some respect on that drive name because it has been working for me pretty well. So I got to put some respect on it. So I'm gonna let it finish doing what it got to do. Uh, but we in the sixties right here on the right speed. Uh, and then on the read speed, we kind of look like we hovering around, look like we hovering in the fifties. Yes. Yeah, it's, it's looking like we hovering in the fifties. All right. Um, but we'll let it finish. Um, but again, uh, I already know for a fact that the, uh, SSD is going to be obviously faster than this. Um, but it is kind of fun to, to, to see this and I'm going to transfer one file, one or two files, maybe just one file, just so we can get this video done. I'll probably just transfer one file from the backup plus to the SSD, something like four or five gigs so we can see how long it takes. So we're coming up on the end right here. So we was at 61, uh, on the right and the read, we are at about 53. All right. So let's go back in here. Let's select drive. We'll go to the crucial. We'll open this one up right here. Read and write speed. A uh, read and write speed. <laughs> Let's hit it. So on the right, we hitting them at about six, and on the read, we hitting them at about five thirty-five. Five. Let's do it again. Let's let it run one more time just to make sure. Okay. So now we at seven thirty-six on the right, and the read, we are at five. Yeah, five thirty-three. So as you can see, it's night and day difference from the hard drive to the SSD. So uh, real quick, just to kind of help me push through this, we'll go ahead and open up this, open up this one. So I'm gonna, I think, oh, did I delete? Oh, okay, I already moved that. Let me let me delete that. Okay, so I didn't mean to have that on there. All right, so let's go in here and find us a, a video. Let's go ahead and hit size. So we'll go to something that's, we'll do, uh, let's do, let's do something that's five gigs. So we'll take this. Five gigs. All right, let's see what five gigs look like going to the SSD. All right, so this is coming from the hard drive, the external uh, hard drive to the SSD. So let's see. We'll see how long that take. Five gigs. And it says it's going to take less than a minute right here. And honestly, I think it's going to take less than a minute. So as you can see, that's already way, way faster uh, than the standard little hard drive that I have. So this SSD is going to come in handy. Uh, especially with editing videos and transferring files back and forth. Now I can just imagine if I was transferring this file from this SSD to like my internal SSD on the Mac mini, I'm pretty sure it would literally just probably be done in like 20 seconds or so. Um, but this is super, super fast for me. And, uh, I'm really going to enjoy using this uh, SSD right here, man. So, uh, again, guys, hopefully this video has been helpful to you. We had about five seconds and we are, done just like that so that was less than a minute um so hopefully this video has been helpful to you guys man i wanted to show you uh that the ssd came in uh and that it does work with the uh mini Supreme, uh hub uh and that we getting some pretty decent speeds out of the uh, p3 uh you can upgrade and not you know get the p3 plus and the p5 and all that but honestly man i feel like this p3 just the standard p3 i'm assuming is pretty good and for the price i mean i feel like it's a good deal, man. Again, this is the Crucial P3, 500 gigabyte SSD, man. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you found it helpful, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It's been your man, Jay, and I'll catch y'all in the next video. Peace. Yeah.